What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel Smoking and Grilling and today we make a Cajun Spice Potato Wedges with me AB. Hey and I got a bonus for you so we gonna call this a twofer right check this out I'm gonna show you guys if you guys didn't already know just how easy it is to make your own you know ranch dressing I could have made this you know a Cajun ranch dressing but I'm thinking that have been just too much you know with the Cajun potato wedges and the ranch dressing that way so I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is. And also, let me know down in the comment section below, tell me how many of you guys have ever even made your own ranch dressing. Hey, with that being said, let's get right into this video. Okay, now look, we're gonna go over the ingredients. You know, real simple. I'm gonna start off with the mayo. You guys looking at this mayo right here, you know what, use your favorite mayo. Listen, this is the base of your ranch. You know, your ranch dressing, so get whatever you like. You know, we're gonna start off with that, and we're gonna have a half a cup of your mayo. Sour cream is gonna be the same, a half a cup of that. Now don't forget we make it ranch, right? So listen, you can you know save it, put it in some type of container. When you make a salad or whatever you want to do, you can like just pour it over the top of a salad or whatever. Hey, this right here is real cool. Just pick this up. I'll put a link down in the description box below so you guys can uh, check it out. And I probably will pin it on the number as a number one com uh, comment. This right here, this is just salt. Now listen. I didn't put no, no amount with that because right we're going to salt it to taste and we're going to put a couple of pinches just in the water because we're going to parboil the, uh, the potatoes. All right, so here we got, now you can see I got two different things in there, right? So I got a, taste, a, a teaspoon of onion powder and a half a teaspoon of garlic. One teaspoon of dried parsley. We got a half a teaspoon of basil. And look, I'm gonna show you this right here. I say we gonna make Cajun, right? But I'm using Creole. Listen, this seasoning here, if you guys have that, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm real, real big on this uh, Creole kick. This right here doesn't have a whole lot of salt in it. So listen, it allows you to add salt. So I got right here, salt. That's three quarters teaspoon of salt. And then we got a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, if you guys gonna use Tony's or something like that, you know, uh, just be careful with your salt. You know, you want to make sure that you don't have any uh, issues about it being like over salty. All right, so here, two tablespoons. This is two tablespoons of uh, flour. And then we got a tablespoon of, uh, this right here is baking soda. And then of course, you know we're making wedges. Hey, so here we go. Just got, me you know, a sack of uh, potatoes and this right here. I'm gonna wash these, scrub them up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just cut them down. You know, cut them into wedges and then we're gonna go from there. And then you want to have yourself a bowl, you know, obviously, and a whisk. This right here is your setup for your ranch dressing. Look, a lot of talking. Hey, super easy. Let's get it. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my water to boil in, right? So let me just fill this up, put it on the stove, and let's get this hot. Now, when it comes to cutting your, uh, your potatoes into wedges, listen, I really don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to try it this way. Look, I cut it in half, then I take the half, place it face, you know, face down, right? I cut that at the top, straight down, then I move the knife down 45 degrees, and I cut towards the center cut. I hope that's making sense to you guys. Hey, you can't, you know what, along with what I just said, and then you get a chance to watch me do it, you can just see, you know, how to make a wedge. But more than likely, you already know how. Now, you saw I put it in a bowl. Once I have it in a bowl, I'm gonna add cold water to it. We're gonna rinse some of that starch off, and then we're gonna drain it, and then we're gonna get it ready to put in our boiling water. Okay, got my water boiling, got my salt. I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a couple of, you know, big pinches. You want your water to be salty when you parboil. Now, I already drained the water, you know, I already rinsed them. Now what I'm gonna do is just add these to the boiling water. And remember, just five minutes old only. You do not want to overcook these. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Now right here, you can see how they look. Look, they still kept their integrity. So what I did was I just rinsed them with cold water to stop them from cooking. Remember, we just want to keep them parboiled. You know, so look, I'm gonna grab one. And look, I'm gonna show you this right here. Look, you just want it to be a little flexible. You don't want it to bend and break. You know what I mean? But you want it to have a little, you know, you want it to be pliable. So that's good right there. Now, let me go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in here. And you can see they're not mush because I can still handle them with my hand without smashing them. 
I promise you, you guys, listen, if you want to know how the restaurants do it, how they get it, and then when we come home, we make them and it don't come out the exact same way, well, look, now you know the trick. These are going to be restaurant style. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to get yourself, get yourself a Ziploc bag. Now we're going to put some of these in here. And that's another reason why you don't want them to be mushy, because listen, we're going to coat them. You know, when you do all that, you're going to turn them into mashed potatoes, you know? So we just put them in here like this. Right, just like so. Now, you just want to go ahead and get your flour. Sprinkle that in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave air in there. You don't want to like get all the air out. We're going to leave a little air in here. And there you have it. You can see them all coated. Now we're gonna put them in the refrigerator, excuse me, we're gonna put them in the freezer for about two and a half hours, get them nice and cold and really cold down to the, uh, to the core. And then we're gonna get ready to deep fry them, folks. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and assemble, you know, we're gonna assemble our ranch. So I've already put this right here. I put my mayonnaise inside of here. I got a half a cup of mayo. We're gonna start with that. Now we're gonna do a half a cup of uh, we're gonna do a half a cup of sour cream. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add the rest of our uh, dry ingredients inside. You know, real easy. Now we go ahead and get our whisk, and we just whisk it together. As you can see right now, it's starting to look like ranch. Now, you can see it's kind of thick, right? So that's where the milk comes in. You can use milk or buttermilk. Now, what I did was just got myself a quarter cup of uh, milk. Making sure I got it all, you know, incorporated first. And now, I'm just gonna add just a little bit to it. Remember, We want to get it just a little bit, you know, a little thinner. You know, I do. And this right here, I'm liking this. So you guys can get a chance to see what it looks like. And you can see, just by me moving it around, this is what I'm looking for. You know, let's see. Oh yeah. Now what we want to do is we want to taste it. And this will let me know whether it needs a little dash of salt or what. So, just put it in here, as you guys can see. Now I'll just taste it. I'm gonna let you know right now, it's spot on. If anything I add to it, it'll be just a little bit of pepper. And there you have it. Now I'm using my t you know, deep fryer. You guys can do this in a pot you know, a Dutch oven or whatever. Look, brought my oil up to 350 degrees. Hey, to be exact, I start off at 360, you know, to, you know, get it up that way. And since we coming out of the freezer, you know, that's gonna bring the temperature down a little bit. So 350 degrees, go ahead, drop them down, and then you just wanna cook them the way you like them. For me, I just went ahead and deep fried them for about seven minutes. And that's what they look like right there. Okay, look, you can see, I got them out. Listen to this. Look, they're nice and crunchy, but still have like a soft interior. Oh man. Okay. Now you want to get yourself a fresh Ziploc bag. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some in this bag. Now we got three tables, tablespoons full of that Creole kick. And now, look, here's the game changer. I got a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. We're gonna go ahead, seal this bag up. I'm gonna move these out the way so you guys can see. So it's almost like that old school shake and bake, you know? So really it's like self-explanatory. Shake them up along with your Cajun, you know, your Cajun spices and there you have it right there. You can look at it, you can see your presentation is great and you serve them to your friends. 
So tell me what you guys think about this one here. Super easy, huh? Now you guys know how to, you know, the restaurants do it. You know what, just super easy. And check this out, if you've been following me, you know I've been dropping them sliders, right? So you can make them sliders and these, and that right there makes you host of the year. And also, listen, if you guys would like, I'm gonna go ahead, hey, if you wanna get these, I'll go ahead and just put a link down in the description box below, and I'm gonna pin it in the number one comment. So, you know, so you guys, if you're interested in getting these uh, fry stands, hey, this right here just ups your presentation game. You know what I mean? You can have these out at different stations, you know, in your man cave or, you know, out on the counter. However you're going to do it when you entertain, this is it right here. Hey, now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. You know, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you've been watching me for a minute, you know how I'm going to get out of here.